detrimental to female athletes. You probably know what I think about this, having been a female athlete, especially in high school. Now, that's what three high school track and field stars argue in a new lawsuit to overturn the state athletic conference's transgender policy. According to their complaint, this reality is discrimination against girls that directly violates the requirements of Title IX. Because schools are permitting males to compete as girls and women, girls and women are losing competitive opportunities. To American girls, those born with XX chromosomes, the message is, give up, you can't win. Joining me now exclusively, I'm so happy to see them all. It's like a Connecticut reunion here. The high school track and uh, field stars behind this lawsuit, Chelsea Mitchell, Alana Smith, and Selena Soul, and their attorney, Christiana Holcomb. All right, Selena, I'm going to start with you. And it's not just because <laughs> you're a Glastonbury High School senior where I went to school. What was the final straw that sparked this legal action? It was just the continued unfairness in our sport. And you were a, you know, top, top runner. And what happened to you that made you feel like you were, you know, being treated unfairly? I lost out on countless opportunities to get placements, get titles, and qualify for further meets to display my talents to college coaches. Did you actually lose competitions to uh, meets to male athletes, biological males? Every single meet that I've competed against them. So is that four total or more? Countless times. Oh, countless times. Well, we could, probably could count, but we won't <laughs> say it's a lot. Alana, same with you. What, what, people say, what are the damages? Isn't this just all about diversity and inclusiveness? I've lost out on getting runner-up at meets like states and regionals, so I took home a bronze medal when I should have been taking home a silver medal. What? It's really hard to stand up, um, Christiana. You're the lawyer here representing. I'm going to get uh, to everybody here on the panel, but to Chelsea next, who's going to William & Mary next year. But it's really hard to stand up for what's obvious and right. Most people know what's right here. No, I think you're exactly right. I mean, I think courage begets courage, and it's been an incredibly courageous act for these young women to stand up and say, look, this is not fair. We just want to restore a level playing field to our sport. Now, we're going to see in this video, um, you guys won't be able to hear it, but you'll be able to see it. This is where Chelsea is competing against a trans athlete on Friday night and winning. The video um, uh, shows the last moments of the race. Let's watch. Wow. Well, Chelsea, uh, congrats on William & Mary. Thank you. Uh, excellent school. So tell me about that race. Did that make you feel like maybe you didn't have to file this lawsuit because you won after all, or is it just kind of a one-off? No, not at all. Um, despite my victory, I've still lost four state championships um, because of this issue, and I've lost countless other opportunities. And there are still so many girls that have been displaced because of this. Um, and so this lawsuit is absolutely necessary to was restore it, fairness. Was, did you ever think this is what you would all be up against? I mean, you train, I know from the, you know playing sports, it's a lot of work, especially in track. It is a yeah. grueling a track or a crew, or that's a grueling endurance uh, sport. Or you do 55 yards, yeah. but you know, it's a lot of training to do it, uh, do it right. Did you ever think that this, Alana, is what you? Would have to be competing against as well? I never thought that I would have to compete against a transgender athlete and I never thought that my sport would be unfair because we all love to run and it's just really upsetting what we're going through. We have some of the trans uh, athletes who do compete uh, against uh, you all defending themselves. Let's watch. I love track because of the community within track. I love track because I feel like I'm a part of a second family. It's like another bond that you experience. We're female, so we wouldn't run on any other team but the female team. Are we not human like everybody else? How do you think we feel? We go through this every day. Selena, um, thoughts on that? This isn't about the athletes, it's about the current Connecticut policy and that it needs to be changed. Well, but they say it is about them. They want to just, they, they say we're women and we want to run as women. I mean, the, although I do have to put up the physical advantages. I'm going to get to reality here because I like to deal in reality. Here are the physical advantages that men have over women. This physical cannot be changed by hormones or anything else. Broader shoulders, larger lung capacity, more skeletal muscle mass, greater bone density in arms, uh, upper body strength is uh, no doubt uh, a lot stronger as well. This is just the way it is. I mean, it's like you guys, you guys brought into this to kind of defend yourselves. And I'm thinking this is just, again, we talked about this earlier in another topic, nothing to do with you. Just common sense. 
And do you feel like common sense and, and, and these kinds of things are just out the window? I definitely think that um, the current policy is very unfair and that there needs to be something done to restore fairness. What's the reaction of your classmates to this? What, what do they say to you? A lot of my classmates have been very supportive of me and they understand why I'm doing it. Even if they don't even play a sport, they understand why we decided to stand up. And the same thing? Yes, I've gotten a whole lot of support. And how about nationally? What has it felt like? I've gotten, I've gotten my fair share of support, but I've also gotten my fair share of hate, but I focus, I try not to dwell on it. Christiana, it's pretty, I mean, what they do is hard to be at the top of their game and to beat a biological male at, you know, any sport if a biological male trains is really tough to do. As we walked in, I'm like, okay, that's a runner. That's a runner. That's a runner. All of you are incredible athletes. But it's, it's just tough to do what they're doing in today's environment. No, it absolutely is. I mean, look, they are high school girls. They should be able to focus on their love of running. They should be able to focus on the, the countless hours they're spending training and not have to be foisted into the, the center of this controversy. So it's really unfair that the adults in the room, that the CIAC, that the public high schools in Connecticut were not willing to address this issue head on and ensure that girls like Chelsea and Alana and Selena can compete on a fair and level. Well, field. Uh, I played basketball, field hockey, and softball. And let me tell you, if this rule was in place, I probably wouldn't have had the athletic career that I had. And I was very fortunate to have that. Glastonbury's a great school. Canton's a great school. Uh, we have great schools in Connecticut, but this is insane. I wish you all the best. You're all going to do great. I know it. You're going to do Thank great you. in college, running, and life. You have great courage, and I want to salute you tonight for being here. Thank you so much. And coming